Disasters come in many shapes and forms. They can destroy livelihoods, lead to loss of life, and endanger future generations. Zimbabwe has not been spared in this regard. With funding from the European Union's Civil Protection and Humanitarian Aid, ECHO, Save the Children and its implementing partners, Oxfam and the International Rescue Committee, implemented the Ready to Act project in Vipridge and Matoba districts of Zimbabwe. The project objective was to ensure communities, schools and authorities are prepared to respond and translate early warning signals into early action to save lives and protect livelihoods. An automated weather station was installed in Beula Primary School in Matobo District, giving both the community and authorities access to real-time weather data, thus allowing them to prepare and react accordingly. If you look at uh, uh, maybe Ward 16, which recently suffered the other door for, of lightning, it was easier for us to, to get uh, the information. We, we got the information probably just after 20 minutes when the disaster Okay, which is something that did not happen in the, in the past. A flood detector was installed in Baitbridge on the banks of the Limpopo River, again giving real-time water level data online, allowing the community to reduce the impact of any flooding. Drone technology is being used in these communities for hazard mapping. These maps are used to formulate DRR plans, including escape routes and homestead location. Information kiosks have also been established, housing the ICT for DRM platform for dissemination of DRR-related text messages to the community. Through the project, the community has been taught how to reduce the impact of disasters such as floods. <laughs> Community members have been advised to grow drought-resistant crops in order to maximize yields. Most of them, they have accepted it, they like it, because they can see change. Save the Children registered every resident in partner wards, capturing their names, ID numbers, phone numbers and location in preparation for any cash transfer program. In addition, through the ICT for DRM database, text messages are sent to community members who are registered on the database to inform them about imminent disasters, what to do and how to keep safe. The same database provides beneficiary details during cash transfer programs. This initiative proved effective when a cash transfer program in response to food insecurity was quickly implemented and households accessed funds within two weeks. Save the Children and its partners have registered tremendous progress in ensuring that schools are adequately prepared to deal with disasters. This includes training for children and their teachers in first aid and disaster drills using simulations. Emergency toolkits with equipment such as whistles and other first aid materials were provided. This school is now actively assisting children cross busy highways. Before DRR training sessions, deaths of school children attempting to cross this busy highway had been recorded. This has now changed with no fatalities reported in two years. As a result of first aid training, a student was able to help a fellow student who had been injured at school. There was a child who was hit by a stone. He was bandaged and he stopped bleeding. If we didn't have a first aid kit, the child would have lost a lot of blood at his body because he was bleeding very fast. Because of the DRR training, children now know how to handle various disasters, including fire, wild animal encroachment, bee attacks, and not to cross flooded rivers. The project's crisis modifier has enabled vulnerable families to be assisted on time. Its aim is to ensure that resources are mobilized within 72 hours after a major disaster. This has seen the Ready to Act project swiftly respond to a cholera outbreak and do general school repairs. The project has also ensured that the community has emergency tools for use when disaster strikes. According to Melikli Niso Sibanda, Principal Administrative Officer for Training from the Department of Civil Protection, 
communities have shown a commitment to disaster risk management. At school level, armed with newly acquired knowledge, it was discovered that one school was sited on a floodplain, increasing risk to pupils. Relocation of the school has been recommended as a long-term strategy, and this knowledge will be applied in future development processes. It is clear that Ready to Act has truly impacted the lives of vulnerable people in Matobo and Bightbridge in many ways, including the distribution of life-saving equipment, community training, cash for those in need, and training of students and community members. This empowerment-based approach has resulted in lives and entire communities forever changed. While the program may have ended, its effect will be felt for generations to come. Community ado change. Ne kuti sisi tiri po kuti tizi zema wa mebedu. So ba kuto ziva zikuita. Kuti chero kawe ya mepo, kawe ya mvure ya kakura se. Wano ziva pe kuti zira. Tino tenda eko ya kawe ya ne programu ino i. Ne zizi siya wakati zizi sa. We are ready to act. We are ready to act.